So be honest, be open, be confident, and explain to them what's going on. You've got questions about nursing, we've got the answers. This is the Ask NRSNG Show. How do I establish rapport with patients quickly? So developing rapport with the patient can be really tough. You know, as, as you're coming onto your shift, the off way nurse had already built a rapport with that patient, and here you come, and you're gonna be spending the next 12, 13 hours or whatever with it. You have a different personality, you have a different style, so it can be tough to really get that rapport quickly. Let me tell you a couple things that I have found have helped a lot with that. The first thing you need to do is you need to just have confidence. Have confidence in yourself. Walk into the room with confidence. You're not walking in to intimidate them or anything like that, but you walk in with confidence, okay? Walk into the room and say, hi, my name's John. I'm gonna be your nurse for the evening. And that's just how you started, just like that. Walk in, look them right in the eye, just like you would in any other conversation and say, hi, my name's John. I'm gonna be your nurse for the evening. And then the next thing you can do and the next thing that's really helpful is to let them know what's gonna happen during the evening. You know, as night shift, we have CTs every morning from like 4 to 6 a.m. So that's one of the first things I tell patients. We're going to be having a CT at about 4 o'clock. That's going to take us some time to get ready. So I'm going to be in here in the room at about 3.30 to get things ready so we can go down. That lets the patient understand that I know what's going on. And then I'm also letting them know ahead of time that, you know, you're, you might be upset at me at 3.30 or whatever when I come in to wake you up. But I'm letting you know this is part of what we have to do. Next, I want you to ask them if they have any questions. Find out who's in charge, look at everybody in the room, and ask each of them if they have questions. This lets them know that their time is important to you, and them understanding what's happening while they're here in the hospital is important to you as well. So it's, it's good as a nurse to let them know that you care about their questions. Grab a whiteboard pen. I, I, I always grab a whiteboard pen and I start drawing up on the whiteboard what's going on. You know, if it's a stroke or an aneurysm, or if it's a trauma, or, or, I, or even draw pictures of the heart, you know, if we're giving beta blockers, and let them know what we're doing. Then I'll look at the monitor and I'll explain to them what each number means. You know, and I don't expect them to get it all. I don't expect them to understand everything that's going on. But listen, here's the biggest thing to keep in mind. Patients are people, okay? The patient in the bed there is somebody's mom, it's somebody's daughter, it's somebody's grandma. You need to treat them like that person. And the second that you do that, they're going to feel like you care, okay? And you do care and you want the best for them. So you have to look at it that way, that they are a person and they deserve to be, to understand what's going on, to understand what's happening while they're here in the hospital. So first thing, have confidence. Walk in the room with confidence. Second thing, explain to them everything that's going on. And third thing, treat them like a person. If you do those three things, listen, you don't have to be, you know, homecoming king, homecoming queen for them to like you. You don't have to be incredibly conversational for them to like you. You don't have to know everything for them to like you. But be honest, be open, be confident, and explain to them what's going on.